Today, I'm reviewing the Milli Quieter 4C, a fanless mini PC that promises silent performance, solid specs, and a size small enough to fit in your pocket. Priced at around $300, it comes with an Intel quad-core CPU, 16GB of RAM, and a 512GB SSD. On paper, it looks like a great option for office productivity, multimedia, or even as a home theater PC. Starting with the unboxing, there's nothing particularly fancy, but the first thing you notice is just how small the packaging is. Inside the box, you'll find some documentation, the Quieter 4C Mini PC itself, which feels surprisingly premium in the hand, a mounting bracket for attaching it behind a monitor, and a 12-volt power adapter with multiple regional plugs. Pretty straightforward, but everything feels well thought out. As I mentioned earlier, the build quality really stands out. The case feels sturdy and premium, with an all-metal design that doubles as a passive heatsink. On top, it has a grooved plastic finish that adds a nice aesthetic touch. And the size? This thing is tiny. At 131 by 81 by 18 millimeters, it's not much bigger than a smartphone and definitely smaller than most external hard drives. Perfect if you want portability or a clean, clutter-free setup. For an office, all it really needs are a couple of cables. On the outside, you get a solid selection of ports, two HDMI 2.0 outputs, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port with DisplayPort Alt Mode and USB PD input, another Type-C port for power only, gigabit Ethernet, a headphone jack, a micro SD card reader that supports up to 2 terabytes, and three USB-A ports on the side. With this setup, you can connect up to three 4K 60Hz displays simultaneously. And since it comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed, it's basically ready to go right out of the box. I opened the backplate to take a look inside, and as expected, the CPU and RAM are soldered to the board, and as we can see it uses the case for passive cooling of the components. According to CPU-Z, it uses four LPDDR5 chips clocked at 4800 MHz, which BIOS also confirms. So, no RAM upgrades or overclocking here. But there is an M.2 PCIe 3.0 slot. And in my unit, it came with a 512GB AirDisk NVMe SSD. That can be swapped out for a bigger or faster drive later. Though as you'll see in a moment, the included SSD performs surprisingly well. The initial Windows setup took a bit of time, as it usually does. During the first few minutes, CPU usage was high while apps and updates installed in the background. Once everything settled, I checked the specs. The Intel N150 processor, 16GB of RAM, and the NVMe SSD. Boot time was about 35 seconds to the desktop, which is decent for a fanless system in this category. Next, I ran some benchmarks. The included AirDisk NVMe SSD hit around 3,500MB per second read and 3,000MB per second write speeds in Crystal Disk Mark, much better than I expected. Real-world file transfers over the 10 gigabits per second USB-C port were also solid, starting at around 850 megabytes per second before stabilizing to about 550 megabytes per second, which was kind of strange but still fast for moving large files, whether for work or multimedia. Temperatures on the M.2 drive stayed around 47 degrees Celsius during tests, which is excellent considering it's passively cooled through the case. For CPU performance, I ran some benchmarks and the scores weren't that impressive, but that's expected from the N150 running at only 8 watts TDP. This isn't meant for gaming or heavy rendering, but for super efficient office productivity. The CPU peaked at about 80 degrees Celsius, but averaged closer to 73 degrees, staying well under the throttling point. At idle, it sat around 45 degrees Celsius, and the power consumption was about 5 watts at idle, and up to 8 watts under full load. That makes it very energy efficient, and of course, completely silent thanks to the fanless design. Perfect for a home office setup without worrying about the electricity bill. I also tried pairing the PC with a portable touchscreen monitor over a single USB-C cable. Video, power, and touch input all worked seamlessly, and the whole setup barely took up any desk space. For remote work, that's an awesome feature. In daily use, performance was smoother than I expected. 4K video playback, whether local files or YouTube, ran flawlessly. Windows felt snappy while browsing, opening apps, and working with documents. For those who enjoy higher refresh rates, it supports 1440p at 120Hz and 1080p at 240Hz. 
4K is limited to 60 Hz, which is a slight downside, but it does support HDR, which is good. Of course, this is not a gaming machine. Light indie games or cloud gaming might work, but don't expect it to run AAA titles. Where it really shines is office work, media consumption, light multitasking, and HTPC use. As for downsides, the biggest limitation is that the RAM is not upgradable. You're stuck with 16 gigabytes. Still, for office and media use, that's more than enough. Performance is another limitation, but again, that's expected. This isn't built for demanding workloads like video editing or modern gaming, so you may need to close background apps if you push it too hard. But looking at the whole package, for just over $300 you get a premium, ultra-compact, fanless mini PC with Windows 11 Pro, a fast NVMe SSD, triple display support, USB-C convenience, and incredibly low power consumption. Honestly, what you get for the price is really impressive. The build quality seems to be also top-notch, but that is something time will tell. For me, the Milli Quieter 4C makes perfect sense as a silent office PC, a home theater box, or even a portable workstation when paired with a USB-C monitor. It's not for everyone, but if those are your needs, it's a very solid choice and definitely worth considering. I'll leave a link to the product in the description below, so make sure to check it out. You can also explore other Milli models depending on your needs. With that said, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the product in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.